All right, so this, of course, is the big moment. The Indian Prime Minister arrived at the White House to an electrifying atmosphere just a little while back. And after addressing the crowd, both the heads of the head of the state of the United States and the head of the government in India began their highly awaited bilateral talks. Both leaders will also be addressing members of the press after the talks. The New Delhi and Washington are expected to deepen their defense ties and technology cooperation. Now, all of this was something that was, of course, expected well in anticipation, well before the visit began. But what is to be headlined at this moment is the manner in which the United States is approaching its ties with India, where President Biden has gone on to state that the India-US ties will redefine the 21st century. Now, minutes before beginning the top-level bilateral meeting, both the leaders, in fact, addressed the crowd that was gathered at the South Lawn of the White House. Hundreds of members of the Indian-American diaspora had lined up outside of the South Lawns to get a glimpse of the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Now, addressing the crowd of the White House, President Joe Biden spoke about the impact that the Quad has had on the world. With your partnership, we've invigorated and elevated the quad between the United States, India, Australia, and Japan to advance our vision of a free, open, secure, and prosperous Indo-Pacific. Decades from now, decades from now, people will look back and say the quad bent the arc of history toward global good, as the Prime Minister describes it. All right, some pretty strong words there. The arc of history will be bent by quad towards greater global good. Now, the Indian Prime Minister also extended his gratitude for the Bidens to host him. He further said that the India-US ties prove the power of democracy. Friends, Bharat and America, dono ke samaj, और व्यवस्थाएं लोकतांत्रिक मूल्यों पर आधारित हैं। दोनों देशों के संविधान उसके पहले तीन शब्द और जैसा राष्ट्रपति बाइडेन ने भी जिसका उल्लेख किया, "We the people" हम दोनों देश अपनी विविधता पर गर्व करते हैं। हम सर्व जन हिताय सर्व जन सुखाय इस मूलभूत सिद्धांत में विश्वास रखते हैं डिप्लोमेटिक दृष्टि से जब इन दो देशों के बीच संबंधों की बात की जाती है तो अक्सर औपचारिक जॉइंट स्टेटमेंट वर्किंग ग्रुप्स और एमओ उसी के दायरे में आमतौर पर बातचीत होती है इसका अपना महत्व है ही लेकिन भारत और अमेरिका के रिश्तों का असली इंजीन हमारे मजबूत पीपल टू पीपल संबंध है And just a few hours ago the White House also said that India has decided to sign the Artemis Accords. Now the accords bring like-minded nations together on civil space exploration and as per a US official, NASA and ISRO are developing a strategic framework for human spaceflight cooperation this year. And this is in an effort to send a joint mission to the International Space Station in 2024. And India's Hindustan Aeronautics has also signed a landmark deal with the GE Aerospace. Now the MOU includes potential joint production of GE Aerospace's F414 engines in India. But the engines will be co-produced in India to power the Tejas light combat aircraft. Hindustan Aeronautics previously had said that it plans to use the engine for a second generation of light combat aircraft. Now, President Joe Biden and the First Lady Jill Biden had welcomed the Prime Minister at the White House on Thursday. And Washington is, of course, looking to solidify its ties with New Delhi in a move to offset China's strategic diplomatic maneuvering and also its military aggression. And sometime from now, the Indian Prime Minister will also be addressing the joint session of the U.S. Congress, which will make him the first ever Indian Prime Minister to address the U.S. Congress not once, but twice. The Indian Prime Minister will also conclude his day with a state dinner at the White House that will be hosted by the Bidens. The historic state visit by Prime Minister Modi is expected to be a turning point for the U.S.-India ties. 
The two leaders will also be signing a maritime deal. This will allow for American naval ships. Mark these words, American naval ships in the region will now be allowed to stop at Indian shipyards for repair work. And this is part of Washington and New Delhi's agenda to modernize their defense cooperation. All right, now to give us more updates in terms of what this relationship, of course, means, we're being joined in by our correspondent Susan Tehran, who's joining us live on this broadcast. Susan, there is much that is going to be written and spoken and analyzed in terms of what this, of course, means, you know, this meeting between the two leaders. But in terms of the statements that have been made by both of them, you know, the camaraderie and also the optics that came out of that joint address by both the leaders, uh, in the lawns of the White House. What is clear is that the United States looks at its relationship with India very, very seriously, where Biden, in fact, went on to describe it as the relationship that will define the 21st century. Yeah, and those were words that were also previously echoed by Jake Sullivan as well, really saying that this is a relationship that will define the 21st century prior to Prime Minister Modi's visit to Washington. And it's very transparent where the United States stands. It needs a partner and an ally in the Asia Pacific and a democracy like India, where there are shared values between the two countries, albeit they do have some differences, is uh, the United States understands that it's of great strategic value. So. Also, there is the aspect of appealing India away from Russia. Uh, while the United States is, has said that it doesn't have any problems with uh, India buying Russian gas as long as it's at a very low under cap price. However, the optics of that for the United States is very important in the international community that to show that the United States and India are on the same page on a lot of issues, despite the fact that India has its own relations with Russia. That's very important as well. And then we can't underestimate the fact that this is an election year for Joe Biden. Politics are domestic. There are some 5 million Indian Americans in the United States. They are a lot of them in swing states. They go to the ballot box and they're watching this uh, meeting very carefully to see how Joe Biden is working with uh, the leader of their home country. So uh, you know, these are some of the aspects of, of the importance indeed. of the two uh, talking to each other and meeting. Yeah.